As the Dixie Fire remains top of mind for residents in Northern California, we are not the only place where fires are burning. On August 13th, 14 states had more than 100 large fires. There's more fires, there's more uh, data, data points that get into these web pages uh, for those fire points, and so there's more information to be had. And so it's a, it's a more critical job and a job that's taking more time for our analysts to do. Tom Rinkevins with NOAA has one of those critical jobs. The federal agency has multiple websites tabulating weather and fire information. But getting it out minute by minute requires both personnel and up-to-date equipment. And sites like these, both from NOAA and the EPA, sometimes can't keep up. The servers are getting old. And the fire data information from satellites goes to more than just this one website. There's many websites, including the one behind me here, which is not ours. Uh, so the information goes out to many. But you're right, the one that you're asking about was designed, originally designed many, many years ago and has had incremental improvements over the years. This is one of these essential services for wildfires. And as this has become used more and more, it's just become a little bit more fragile. Modesto Congressman Josh Harder says the fire and smoke map in particular needs funding, even more so because he says local fire departments and residents use it to know where to go and when to evacuate. As these fires have gotten worse and worse, folks really need up-to-date, accurate information. Noah and Harder both say it may be an unintended consequence of climate change, fires burning across the country, floods, and large weather events all happening at once, leading to more people accessing the server at the same time. So Harder is asking for a $500,000 line item in the federal budget. But I'm very optimistic. This is incredibly bipartisan. It's not just Republicans or Democrats who are refreshing this website every single day to make sure that they're uh, kept safe. This is all of us. The fire season's getting longer and longer every year. And I think I just saw an article today where they're calling it the fire year, where there is no season anymore, that it's a continuum, which is unfortunate. And so we have to prepare, whether it's uh, the IT servers, the infrastructure, the products, the people that uh, do the product analysis that were staffed up and, you know, on the people side and the computer side to be able to handle the additional demand. Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 Investigates. And Harder's push for this budget item has already passed the House. He says he's optimistic for the Senate side. He says he's been uh, told fire safety is a priority for the president. And as of today, the fire and smoke map, along with a number of other NOAA sites, are working. But as more fires burn, the more strain it does put on those old servers.